The name plantain comes from the Spanish word platano, meaning banana. Plantains are not easy to find in Europe since they don't grow naturally and are rarely imported, unlike bananas. They are a close relative to the banana, but larger and far harder to peel. The flavour is similar, but slightly more starchy, and not as sweet since they contain less sugar. When they're fully ripe, they go black, exactly like bananas, but are eaten cooked, not raw. They were originally cultivated in Southeast Asia, but are now found in North Australia, West Africa, the Caribbean, South and Central America, and parts of North America too. Plantains have huge leaves, which can be used as plates, as this adds flavour to the dishes. Certain foods are prepared and wrapped in the leaves, and they're also used in ceremonies and rituals too. They are usually cooked in the same way as a potato, so they can be boiled, fried, grilled, baked, roasted or steamed. They pair well with beans, rice, nuts and fish, and like bananas, can be used to make plantain chips. Plantains are packed with nutrients such as vitamin C, vitamins B6, 9 and 2, fibre, magnesium and potassium, which helps to regulate heart function and blood pressure. They provide prebiotics, which are important for all over gut health, and also give the immune system and the brain a boost by providing energy. Plantain can be made into a tea, which soothes the throat area, helping to combat laryngitis, bronchitis and catarrh, and it's also been known to help with urinary tract infections. Studies have shown that plantain helps repair damaged skin tissue, so it makes a particularly useful lotion, ointment or poultice for assisting with bites and stings, ulcers, minor burns, cuts and scrapes, sunburn, poison ivy, bruises and other skin irritations. There is also a herb called plantain, which is a different plant, but that has healing properties too. Yes, we can be sure we can maintain with plantain.